Hey, it's Jim Shelberg, Pin Game Journal. Still in Seattle, and somehow I keep being in people's backyards. But that's because uh, near their backyard, they're doing interesting things. I'm on the porch and in the backyard of Tim Meehan, and if nothing else, I'm showing the fact that there's amazing weather here. It's been nice my whole trip. But Tim, out the back of his house, uh, has um, a little a shop where he does a few things, and I wanted to show you that. And look, here, look, yeah. <laughs> here's Tim right here. Let's, what's yes. going on in here? Well, this It's is a garage, a, right? It's yeah. where your cars are. This was a garage in the 1920s, and um, because it's a two-car garage that I share with my neighbor... Um, it obviously is too narrow for modern cars, so I converted this into my um, workshop for repairing and restoring vintage pinball machines. And basically the two main things I do here are um, artwork restorations, where I take old play fields and I strip them down and repaint them, um, and, uh, and then re-top coat them. And then the other thing I do here is uh, the mechanical restoration. Uh, of machines, so yeah, you can. Has see this one been? This one's partially worked on, so I've cleaned it up, and me. I've I've touched up all this white in here, and like these arches have been touched up. Also, all of these inserts, which were badly uh, um, punched down into the playfield, have been um, re-glued, and then uh, super glued around the edges to make them uh, completely smooth to the playfield. Mm. Okay. And then we'll keep working on the white, and then we'll come across and work on the rest of the colors, too. So um, this is probably about a week or so from being done. Um, it's a lot of fun to do. It's sort of like a coloring book. Now over here is where um, I might do mechanical restoration of, of uh, the machines. And this is from a Gottlieb Surf Champ. And you can see that I pulled all the components from the bottom board. And I've already rebuilt all of the relays and the score motor. I've uh, hit all the switches, that's very important. And the other thing that's really important to do is to completely restore the uh, connectivity of your connectors and sockets because um, that's a point at which you either get um, circuit faults where uh, game features stop working or like the lamps will be dimmer because you're not getting good current. And then like these parts will go on this bottom board here and I've um, uh, recreated the original uh, you know, labeling and so on, and I've, I've cleaned up the board and coated it with a clear um, matte finish, so it won't get dirty again uh, the way the original board was. This was um, the, the this is a newly printed. Sheet yes, now? this is a newly printed reproduction of the original strip that um, calls out what all the relays are going to be on the the two relay banks here, um, and so it's just when I put all the parts back on here, it'll look much nicer. Sure. And then over here I have a curing tank. Um, we were talking about the artwork restoration. So you can see that um, once the playfield is completely repainted and uh, I put uh, coats of uh, polyurethane on it and I use this curing tank um, which has an exhaust fan and a thermostat. And that way I have a very controlled environment in which to um, create a nice... Uh, a nice original type finish uh, on the playfield, and that's pretty much it. And uh, and so you you're doing this. Um... Well, I recently retired from my job, and so now I'm doing restorations uh, full time. Okay, cool. And uh, I'm I'm having a great time doing it. I've, I've been doing this since April. Of course, I've been restoring machines for 20, 25 oh, years, yeah. long time. So now I'm kind of doing more of it, and that's been really fun. And, uh, and I'll put about six layers of brush-on polyurethane, and then I'll knock this smooth uh, with a sander, and then we'll put on one final coat um, with a spray-on polyurethane, and that'll make it nice and clear and smooth, and it'll look just like a factory uh, surface. Cool. So. Tim, thank you very much. Thank you, and have a great trip home.